Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to series. In today's video we're going to be discussing some of the new discoveries about this very very cool, very beautiful and very unusual dwarf planet that actually used to be just an asteroid and before that was thought to be a planet. And we're going to discuss the idea of these very bright spots that it has right there and use um, another video game known as Space Rangers to try to land on Ceres. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So in this video I actually wanted to focus on the mystery of these unusual bright spots on the surface of Ceres. This is actually a relatively new um, rediscovery or I guess analysis of what these might be as there have been quite a lot of speculations at what they are. Now, first of all, let's actually look at where they're located. So as you can see, this one is kind of in the middle of the crater and you know, some of the spots are on the side of the crater. And if you actually look around the uh, surface of Ceres, you'll discover that most of these bright spots seem to be around craters or usually inside of them. As a matter of fact, we've discovered about 300 of these spots and um, we don't really have a better name for them except for just a bright spot of Ceres but uh, they are quite mysterious and quite unusual and the reason they're mysterious is because they're way too bright they're so shiny that when we just saw them for the first time we actually couldn't even explain it there were even speculations of this being aliens uh, with their some sort of light source but we now know that it is very likely or most likely some kind of water and so let's actually, well, first of all, I, um, before I land in Space Engine and try to explore it here, let's, let me show you the map of the ones we've discovered so far. So the first ones we've discovered are actually here. This is uh, an actual image of Asteroidia Facula and Vinalia Facula, the big spots that you just saw in Space Engine. And um, this is a 3D image that was created by NASA on the approach of Dawn Probe that still actually is there. I'm not sure if you're aware, but... We're still actually orbiting this beautiful dwarf planet with a space probe known as Dawn. But anyway, so uh, we saw these two bright spots as we were approaching Ceres. And so here is the composite map from NASA and uh, you can kind of see that there is actually three major types of um, what are known as facula. So basically you have the floor or a rim or wall or just bright ejecta. And this here is the biggest uh, mountain known as Ahuna Mons. So, um, what this kind of suggests to us is that these have to be somehow related to a geological activity underneath the surface of Ceres. And this is actually what the paper suggests. It suggests that Ceres is not a dead dwarf planet. As a matter of fact, it's probably still very active and it probably still has quite a lot of activity going on underneath. And these are also the signs of a very active past as well. Let's actually land on the surface here. And so here is one of these spots, and it kind of looks uh, really beautiful, actually it looks very unusual, much much brighter and much wider than the surroundings. And this to us suggests that these are probably some sort of ice particles. And um, the scientists behind the, uh, the paper and the suggestion basically um, proposed the idea of these being like plumes of water and ice particles being excreted and bubble, bubbled out from inside the... Um, what seems to be a liquid ocean underneath. And so basically, because there is no atmospheric pressure on the surface, when the liquid water gets to the surface, it starts bubbling, it starts kind of uh, almost like exploding and creates these unusual patterns that we observe here. Um, now, this is obviously a speculation, um, but what it does suggest is that there is definitely some sort of a large liquid ocean body underneath and possibly even liquid ocean that used to be on the surface as well. And although uh, liquid ocean on the surface might be a long fetch, uh, the idea of the liquid ocean underneath is not. It's actually something that we think exists on Europa and Celadus, and they probably have these very similar unusual geological activities that you see right here as well. Um, now, is there anything that we can compare this to in real life? Well, the best example is actually your common uh, soda experiment. Basically, you know, if you shake a can of soda, it starts bubbling out as soon as you open the uh, soda and a lot of white foam comes out. 
that kind of is what we think is happening on series there's a lot of pressure inside the water comes out to the outside the co2 pressure is released and a lot of the water foam uh, is formed on the surface here so we think that this is actually what's happening here as well in other words it's kind of like a very big foamy area but they're also very very uh, cold ice particles so that makes them extra um, reflective and extra white now we don't think this is actually a very old formation we only think um, we think it's about maybe a million or maybe a few million years old compared to the actual age of series that's nothing uh, but nevertheless it is pretty cool and it is very very interesting unfortunately we don't we won't really get to study this until anytime soon because there is no further missions planned um, here and the only mission that was actually planned was by the uh, Chinese Space Agency and they were actually thinking of investigating the series and even landing on the series and this is actually what I wanted to try I have this uh, game that I downloaded a long time ago I actually bought it a long time ago called Star Rangers I do, it's not a game I recommend getting because it is not very good it has some some of the worst and most negative reviews on Steam I've ever seen but I actually wanted to show you one of the new simulations they have here where you actually get to land on series they, they've added a few simulations in the last few months one of them is uh, a deep space uh, raider space shooter simulator thingy which was not particularly fun so i'm not going to show it to you uh, but this here is very interesting it's actually a landing on series kind of very similar to how the moon landing happened and uh, I, I actually kind of enjoyed this it, it's worth just uh, at least watching this at least once because um, it is kind of what we think will happen one day when we do land on series uh, so there's some core packages there we're going to try to retrieve them I actually don't really know what's inside of those packages but we're going to try to simulate the landing on series using uh, Star Rangers so right here we are inside uh, the spacecraft that looks a lot like a polo lander and you can actually see outside of the spacecraft by pressing the camera um, you can also control it actually you can totally just change your landing parameters uh, you can kind of hear something's beeping that's because I'm going too fast I need to slow down a little bit I'm currently approaching the surface at minus 30 meters per second in other words we're crashing you can kind of see ours right there as well we're going to try to land very carefully um, and and then try to go and explore series actually I, I'm really excited about this because I actually do want to go in and see what series looks like now there's a fuel limitation here and for this reason I need to make sure I don't press the uh, space bar too much all right so here we are we're kind of slowly approaching we're gonna land very gently and this will be the end to the landing part of the mission all right now we can actually exit the craft and look at that we're a person and our craft is acting funny it's actually gonna fly right um, but look at how we're walking it's, it's hilarious I love it so anyway so um, goodbye craft thank you for delivering us to this beautiful dwarf planet now that we're on the surface of ser series let's go and uh, check out the core package let's see what's inside and what's really cool is that if you actually look really really closer here there, there is actually a layer of ice on the surface of series you can kind of see even the reflections so in in some sense this game actually recreates series surface really really well even though the game itself is not particularly uh good anyway we're almost there we're almost at the core package and we're gonna go and see what's inside and basically this will be the end of the video um, now what i actually really wanted to focus on in this video is just to give you an idea of how little we know about series how much mystery there is inside of series and how it actually could have been a very very different world uh, billions of years ago filled with oceans filled with possibly even life for all we know well we don't really know but it's possible anyway so the core package is something that's waiting for us and it looks like it's some sort of a base that was landed um, for us by I, I guess the NASA or some other space agency and here we go we're gonna enter inside and see what's waiting for us inside the building and here we go we're inside some sort of a ice cave I guess I'm not sure what that is it looks very very cool though anyway so that's all I wanted to do in this video I actually just wanted to see um, what it would be like to land on series and talk a little bit about the mystery of series and show you what Star Rangers has added in its game but once once again don't uh, don't go and rush and buy this game because th there's very very limited content here 
Maybe in a few years it'll be better, but for now, it's kind of all there is to it. And anyway, let's go run around series and explore it a little bit more. And thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games. And in the next uh, video, you are going to learn something else. I also want to come back and talk more about series as we discover more and more things about it. And hopefully someone will actually plan some kind of a cool mission here sometime in the future. Anyway, space out. And as always, bye bye.